think Finish the Fight for me is a love letter in some ways to these women who paved the way for me to even be able to be doing what I'm doing now. I mean, we really wanted to cast the spotlight on women that you don't automatically think about as suffragists. I think the thing that we took away from it as journalists was the reminder that heroes don't make a movement, that it's really legions of people that make a movement. And we're seeing that now. When you see women tapping into each other's power, the way that the characters in this play do, that's when all of those words take on meaning. We have to talk to each other. We all have to talk to each other. Had I had more of these women when I was growing up, I think I would have viewed my own individual ability to affect change in a larger society a completely different way. But when you don't see yourself reflected in the education system, in media, on TV, in commercials, in books, in ads, it's very easy to understand and feel erased. And so I hope that women look at this, all kinds of women, and see themselves and therefore are motivated to get involved. I want the, the final sort of feeling to be galvanized and feeling empowered and feeling like you do have a hand in the fight. You don't have to be famous and you don't have to be a hero to, um, to make a difference. When you look at these characters, think about yourself.